Hello everybody. Uh, welcome to our channel Medicine Decoded. I am Dr. Abhishek. I am MD Radiology and today we will be discussing something about a very commonly done uh, investigation in our routine medical practice that is a common x-ray chest. We will be starting on with the basics for the beginners and then we will be moving ahead take, taking the things to a more complex level. So the first thing is how does an x-ray work? So this is, an photo, this is a photograph that we have taken from a room which is conventional x-ray unit. Now you can see in this particular room there is a white colored structure which is present here and there is a black, black colored plate which is present on the far end of the corner. The same uh, photograph which has been taken with the lights off. Now this particular white thing which we can see around here is the x-ray tube. Now x-ray tube is responsible for generation of x-rays. X-rays pass through this tube and then they eventually strike into this x-ray plate and finally an image is formed on this x-ray plate which we see on our x-ray films. This is a common schematic diagram in which I have simplified the entire thing and now you can see that this is the x-ray tube, this yellow colored thing and this red color thing is the x-ray plate. These x-rays are generated from here, run in parallel lines and they finally strike the x-ray plate on which the image is formed. The patient is obviously placed somewhere between the x-ray tube and the x-ray plate. Exactly where the patient positioning occurs, we will be discussing later on and the reason why the patient has to be positioned at that particular place as well. Before that, the first thing that comes to our mind, all of us must have seen x-rays sometimes in our life. The x-rays uh, are uh, varying shades of grey. Some things on x-ray are seen in colors of white, some things are seen in colors of black, some things are seen in colors of grey. So the first and the most important question that needs to be addressed is what decides the color of a particular element on, a, on an x-ray. So for this, we did, a con we did a simple experiment. We had four items of common use. This was a water bottle, which is a plastic bottle, which is completely empty, no water. This is a plastic bottle, which is half filled with water. This is a wooden stick, a wooden stick, which we commonly have in our day-to-day -day life. And this is a metal. This is a metal element, a plast that we used. And then we placed them in front of the x-ray tube. And then we took out images of an x-ray. So just see what happened is, in this first case, when the plastic uh, bottle was completely empty, there was nothing. There was a no image form. You can see that the central part of the, uh, what do you call the central cavity of the bottle shows no color, that it seems completely black. The faint color of white which is produced along the edges of this bottle is that of the plastic. So what we can deduce is that whenever x-rays pass through air, they do not produce any color. They do not produce any color on the x-ray plate. Now repeating the same experiment with the bottle half full. Now to our surprise we see that the water which was present in that x-ray was responsible for producing a color. Now this color was white. On the other hand this upper part of the bottle which was not filled with fluid was still showing no color. That means air is still not showing any color. Now why does that happen? X-rays are like any other rays. They are simple to write rays. Whenever X-rays pass through something, if they are stopped or hindered by something, they will produce a color. Because air is not producing any obstruction to the path of the X-rays. That is why there will be no color. On the other hand, water. Water is denser than air. And that is why it will produce some, some amount of what you call as deceleration or some amount of obstruction to the passage of X-rays. And hence, it will appear it will show some color. What color it will show and how will uh, this color appear? We will be discussing that later. Now we took a wooden stick and in this particular wooden stick, we found that this was producing a far brighter whiter color as compared to this fluid. You can still see that. So now I think we can all deduce a temporal uh, correlation. That is the denser the material, the whiter it looks on an x-ray because it produces the maximum impedance or obstruction to the movement of the x-rays. So, continuing with the same experiment, the last thing that we used was the metallic plast. Now, let's see the metallic plast is almost responsible for obstructing all the x-rays and that is why it is appearing the brightest or the whitest. Now, this is all of the objects. The last thing that we chose to image was the x-ray of the hand. Now, see, the x-ray of the hand shows you a very different shades apart from the bones. Now, you, everybody can see these are the bones the bones of the fingers. So they are producing white color. It is quite expected because bone is almost similar to wood. It is harder than fluid. So it is definitely going to produce a shade of white which is 
more than the fluid and it is going to produce a shade which is almost that of wood but bone is slightly less harder or it should it is not less slightly but it is much less harder as compared to metal that is why bone will produce a color which is lighter to metal so that is explained that bone is appearing white on this particular x-ray but what are the other things that we can see the air around the hand you can see the air which is present between the fingers is producing no color it is completely black same as what we saw in the center part of this particular cavity of the of the fully uh, uh, fully vacant what you can say uh, this particular water bottle the important thing which i want to highlight is there is certain there is one more thing which is apart from the bones and the air this is this is something which is present between the bones this is the soft tissues in our hand apart from the bone we also have small areas of skin subcutaneous fat and some mus muscle layers as well now these things will be producing a color which is going to be less whiter as compared to the bone it's quite easy it's quite obvious because they contain fat they're very they're not as dense you can actually compress them quite easily so these soft tissues will be producing a shade of gray which would be brighter as compared to the air but it would be less denser or less whiter as compared to that of bone now to complete this experiment we'll be taking you to a dark room and then in that dark room we're going to discuss about how x-rays and light rays work congruously now this is our dark room so we'll continue with the same experiment now see that we i this, now i'm holding a bottle i'll know I, I, and all of you can see that this bottle is not producing any particular color on the background all what we can see is a black colored shadow which is produced by the edges of that particular bottle now i'll replace it with a bottle which is half full now you can clearly see that the bottle the water which is present on the down side it is producing a color which is slightly black as compared to the upper part of the bottle which is completely vacant so that's the same experiment uh, the same thing goes with the x-ray as well last is a metal now you can see this is a metal box and this metal box is appearing completely black this is why it is because it is obstructing all the light rays x-rays are just like light rays they, they can be obstructed by particles depending upon the density this light is being obstructed by this metallic thing that is why it is not producing that it, it is producing a black colored shadow on the background and same other things with the bottle which is half filled and full filled so now coming back to the lights once again now i think everybody of us can tell why this particular x-ray is going to look like this the bones are going to be looking white because they are dense they are hard they will produce hindrance to the x-rays they are almost as hard as wood that is why they will appear white as wood on the other hand the air which is outside the hand is going to look black because it is not producing any hindrance to the x-rays all the x-rays just like light is going to pass through it so it will not produce any image or any color on an x-ray on the other hand these small areas which are in between the fingers which consists of muscle layers fat soft tissues and other things will appear color will appear will have some color which is going to be less denser or less whiter as compared to the bone but it is going to be more white as compared to the air because they obviously are hard and they obviously produce some hindrance to the movement of the x-rays just like the other light rays so now moving ahead in the same continuum i think now it's easy to summarize that air will be looking black because it does not produce any air, any hindrance to the movement of the x rays just as we saw in the experiment in the dark room the soft tissues are going to be having a color of gray because they produce some attenuation or some uh, reduction to the movement of the x rays fluid will appear white as we saw in the uh, x-ray of the bottle which was half filled with water bone is harder than fluid more denser than fluid that is why it will appear whiter than fluid and finally metal metal because it is going to absorb all the x-rays it won't allow any x-rays to go through it it will appear the whitest